Hello. So one thing today, I it's been a while since I've made an actual uh, NARC video. I, mean, I showed everyone my paintings the other day, but it's been a while since I've made an actual NARC video. And a thought just occurred to me today. I was thinking about this. It's like kind of a trend I notice with narcissists. And I don't know if any of you have noticed this too, but how a lot of them claim to be into meditation. <laughs> And it's actually pretty funny because these people are the exact opposite of everything that yoga and meditation kind of is kind of for, sort of stands for. But my mother, you know, one time when I was over there before no contact, I was, we we're kind of having an argument. I was telling her all the issues I had with her and whatever. And she's like, well, I'm working on it, uh, this and that, and the therapist and this and that. She's like, oh, and I'm meditating. Like, what, uh, what do you expect me to think with that? Like, you tell me you're meditating and I'm just supposed to, my whole view of you is supposed to change and I'm supposed to see you now as like this enlightened human being because you, you claim that you're, you're meditating. And I think a lot of them do it too because yoga and meditation, it's becoming more mainstream and more popular. So I think a lot of them just want to like jump, jump on the bandwagon with what the crowd is doing. So yeah, my mother's one of them, and her sister, my aunt, who I'm not 100% sure, but I would bet money that she's a borderline. Um, she's a yoga teacher now, and gave my mother a lecture a few years back when she was first starting the yoga on how my mother's not aging well, my, my mother is not enlightened, and like... Just really, just really pompous. Yeah, I mean, it's it's true. My mom is not enlightened. She's an old bitter hag. But my aunt was like on this high horse, kind of preaching to her, telling her how she should live her life and whatever. So I think may maybe that that has appeal to narcs too. Like if they get on this yoga meditation bandwagon, they kind of turn around and tell people all the time how they're they have a negative attitude or their attitude is wrong or they're they're not enlightened or some bullshit like that. So yeah, that's my mom and her sister. And then the male borderline psycho at my job, you know, the one that disappeared and ended up fired. He said that, he told me once that every day before work, before he came in the building, he would sit in his car for a half an hour and meditate. <laughs> I swear to God, this is what he told me. And I'm, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, this dude is, is batshit crazy. Just like... Could you imagine somebody sitting in their car before work and in the parking lot at your job just meditating for half an hour? Whatever. But, and he, he claims it was because, you know, the job was so stressful and he was so abused with the co-workers and his boss and he was so abused and stressed. He needs, he's like, oh, I need to meditate. So, I think he... He tried to do that because he thought it was a way to calm himself down because he's always so... He was always such a neurotic wreck and over-exaggerating everything, but I think he also, too, wanted to make it look like... Just to overemphasize how mistreated he claimed to be at that company. Like, oh, well, I'm so I'm so stressed and abused here that I need to meditate. So that, I think that's part of what that was. But I think it's, a, it's like a cover for people so people could see them as more level-headed or deeper than they are. So it's like they they throw that out there to make it look like... I don't know, like they're working on themselves or that so people think they have actual depth when they have none, you know, so that's, yeah, that's one, another person. And then my last boss, who I've made videos about her before, was just one of the most vile human beings I've ever met in my life. I'm thinking she, this woman might have actually been worse than my mother. Um, I've never, she's probably the worst narc I've ever met, I would say. And that, that says a lot. Um, and she she was very into yoga. And, she, you know, she used to talk about it. And then, you know, she, she'd be in a meeting and she'd be yelling and screaming about something. You know, usually causing, causing drama over something minor. You know, how narcs, they tend to take something like a minor inconvenience and make it into Armageddon and just totally, totally flip out and lose their shit. So... You know, we had a meeting like that, and then she's like, this is why I do yoga. It's like, well, well, bitch, it ain't working, okay? It ain't working. I mean, 
doing yoga for an hour a week, if you're a complete raging bitch for the other 167 hours, or how many hours there are in a week, the, the yoga's not doing shit. So stop trying to sound deep, stop, or trying to sound trendy, because it's kind of in now. Or have people think you're more level-headed than you are, because we all know you're a fucking psycho, so just give it up. So, that's, it, it's, it's a trend I notice with narcs, um, how they, they, they claim to meditate, talk about meditating, some of them are into yoga, and then they, they use it as a way to say how, how enlightened they are, or, you know, they, they do it to deal with, to deal with the stress of everyday life, uh, such a drama all the time. So, uh, I'm just curious if any of you guys have noticed this trend among, among narcs that you've met, and uh, why you think this is, or if they give you some bullshit reason, like, you know, because they, they're enlightened, or because they're so stressed because of this person and that person, and or try to turn it on other people, like like there's something wrong with you because you don't do it, so... Just curious to see what some of your guys' experiences are with this, and I'll see you soon.